We are looking at the latest version of Spatial Delivery by Earthquaker Devices. It's a high pass filter, it's a low pass filter, it has sample and hold. It now has the addition of six preset slots. But before we get to this awesome new device from Earthquaker Devices, let's start the show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the new spatial delivery from Earthquaker Devices. I'm having, as you can tell, a bunch of fun checking out a new pedal. Full disclosure, Earthquake Devices did send me this pedal. And in a rare case of the pedal studio, they actually asked me to make a video about it. Now, had I not dug the pedal, I guess this is a spoiler alert because I do really dig the pedal. Had I not dug it, I just wouldn't have made the video and I would have sent it back. But as luck would have it, and as consistency would have it, Earthquake Devices have a really nice pedal. And I happen to not only love filters, and that's something from my days with Jojo Mayer and playing electronic music and playing in Nerve and just processing synth sounds in general. So I'm, I'm first, of, first and foremost a big fan of a filter, high pass, low pass, and, and all the things that come with that. But to me, the most exciting part about this pedal is the sample and hold. It's this kind of randomizer, sequencer type of sound that I can push my pedal board here, my harmonizer stuff, all my weird effects through the spatial delivery using the sample and hold. Come up with a bunch of things I probably wouldn't have thought of on my own. So as you heard in the beginning, we've got like, we've got a tempo control here. That's, that's just the clean sound of the bass right now. There's no weirdness being pushed through it. We can obviously change our resonance, move between high pass and low pass. I'm obviously a massive fan of the low pass filter. Already it's music. That's We've got to music right away. There's a sequencer. You could throw this in the looper. You could create a soundscape out of this. This could be the foundation for some sort of solo performance. It can be a lot of things. Now, as I said, that was just clean. Just pushing the natural sound of my bass through it. Um, and I don't really have any highs. I had the highs rolled off. So you can hear the more treble I roll in. The more you, the more kind of articulation you get, that's always a massive part of the pedal board, how I drive the pedals, how they respond to certain types of EQ in the bass or certain types of EQ early on in the signal chain. The spatial delivery is no different. Just by altering the EQ on the bass, you can get a ton of different sounds out of it. Now, what you heard me doing in the intro was pushing this large, woo, this large uh, harmonizer patch from the HX Stomp. That's without the spatial delivery. That's just coming straight from my pedal board. But let's click in the sample and hold and start to mess with some of the 
with the resonance here. Like how big do you want that range? And of course this has an expression jack so you could sweep this with your foot. I happen to have it up on the tabletop for the purpose of making the video. It makes it way easier to show this to you guys. So I'm just turning it with my hand and we can get into high pass territory here. And I like to add um, some some uh, modulation to my synth stuff, give it that kind of little bit of a wave. Um, almost like some gated fuzz. Let's set that sound up first over here. That's, that's not bad. Just kind of widens the sound of the synth gives me a bit more space. Here's the synth clean. I'm actually going to add a little bit of a little bit of highs, a little bit more of the high octave. We'll add in we'll add in the frant a bit there from Iron Ether. So we've already expanded the sound. We'll add some reverb. A little extreme. Maybe we'll add some granular delay, granular delay from the Pladask backlings. It's a little too subtle when you have all the fuzz in there. So we'll take that out. Now we'll get to the spatial delivery wearing sort of high pass mode. Ooh. Now let's sweep in some of the bottom of the sound. Okay, so this video could be 40 minutes of me just working with the sample and hold. The pedal obviously has a ton of other features. And the latest feature EQD have added to the spatial delivery is a preset option. There are six preset slots. I've made one. I've got it over here in number six. Just to prove that the pedal does those things that I'm sure a lot of bass players want out of a filter pedal like this. The quack, quack, quack. They want to play slap. Obviously, this is not the bass for it, but I will attempt to let you know that it really, it does that thing. It does that quacking thing. So if you're not into the big ambient soundscapes and sample and hold and sort of sequencer elements of the pedal, you can do something really kind of, you know, quote unquote traditional with it. And the quacking and the traditional sense of the wah and filter element isn't exclusive to slapping. Obviously we can go back to my put pedal board to put some of my sounds through that and really filter the synth and harmonizer stuff. Maybe a little bit too much reverb there. And some other use cases I find kind of interesting are pushing my octave and my sample rate reducer. I'm using the Frederick FX Bug Crusher. The MXR vintage bass octave. I'm pushing that through the spatial delivery. And regardless of what kind of music you play, sort of the most important thing to me about any pedal that comes into the studio, any pedal I make a video on is, can I get to, can I get to music right away. That's always my ultimate goal. That's totally random. That's unrehearsed. I just turned some knobs. I had an effect on for my pedal board and I'm already I'm already motivated to stay here with it and do more. So long after I switch the camera off and probably long past the time I should stop messing around with pedals and start editing this video, I'll still be playing with this. And 
that's kind of priceless, right? That's the thing you want. That's that's it's you want inspiration from these things. These things shouldn't get in the way. They should pull you with them. They should entice you down a path that you may not have thought of even existed, not have known even existed. <laughs> And then as you become more fluent with the controls, ooh, so expands your creativity. I'm already here. I know I should be talking to you about this pedal, but I'm hearing so many things that I just want to mess around over here and start turning knobs. That slower tempo got me, got me thinking about about this, about the, the sample rate reducer. And okay, let me see, the, the, the slower tempo is possibly more suited to a wider, wider modulation sound. The next thing I'm curious about is what it sounds like without the sample rate reducer. I think it's still cool. I love those little clicks. I love the percussive element of it and the sequential element of it. But man, that, that sample rate reducer. really brings a cool element to it. That's what this is all about. It's all about the music, what we feel, how we want to express ourselves being enhanced by devices like this. And in this case, it happens to be the brand new special delivery from Earthquaker Devices. I've had a blast making this video, talking about the pedal. I really appreciate you spending some of your insanely precious time talking about music, learning about the bass, looking at a new pedal arrival from Earthquaker Devices. I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, don't go anywhere. I lied, there's one more thing. I want to show you because I have a sequencer in my HX stomp and now I have the spatial delivery after that. I can use the filter to really go to town on processing what I'm creating with the shuffling looper inside the HX stomp. So here's our loop. Okay, that's it. I promise now we're done. I just wanted to share that with you. I think it's a really musical thing to be able to have at the end of your signal chain and really manipulate. If you have the ability to put some sort of sequencer in the, in your pedal board, I know the HX Stomp has a bunch of stuff. I have presets available. They're, they're linked below in the description of the video that include that sequencer that I was just using. And to be able to manipulate that, to get away from the bass or the guitar or the keyboards or whatever instrument it is you play and just use the pedal as a musical instrument, I think is kind of huge. It's something I don't see too often. And maybe that's something you haven't thought about before. Maybe you want to think about in the future. It could be an amazing musical addition to what it is you do. All right, love you guys. Appreciate you spending some time with me. See you on the next video. Thank you.